breaking news. Mayor de Blasio choosing a replacement for retiring New York City Schools Chancellor Carmen Farina. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan's in the newsroom with the details. Jim. Well, as Eyewitness News has learned that the next Chancellor of New York City Schools will be Alberto Carvalho, who is the current superintendent of the Miami-Dade Schools, the fourth largest school district in America. Carvalho is a remarkable man. We'll talk about his amazing rise from poverty in just a moment, but he will now come to head the New York City Schools. He replaces Carmen Farina, who announced some weeks ago that she would be stepping down, but that she would wait for a successor to be named. He has been named now. Carvalho, as we said, is the superintendent of the Miami-Dade Public Schools. He's been there since 2008. That's the fourth largest school district in the nation. Uh, he won the 2014 National Superintendent of the Year Award in 2016. He was named uh, the winner of the Harold W. McGraw Prize in Education. He started out as a physics teacher. Uh, Miami-Dade now considered one of the best performing urban schools school districts in the country. But we have to talk about this man's remarkable rise from poverty. He was born in Panacova, Portugal, the son of a janitor and a seamstress. He lived in a home when he was growing up with no running water or electricity. He came to the United States as an undocumented uh, citizen, uh, alien. He was homeless for a time in this country. He is the first member of his family. He had six brothers and sisters, the first member of his family to graduate high school, obviously to go on to college. Carvalho uh, is uh, the, uh, uh, an official announcement about uh, Carvalho will be made either tonight or tomorrow by the mayor's office, but so far they have an not announced it uh, uh, officially. We have learned that he is the next chancellor of the New York City School District, the largest school district in America. Again, his name, Alberto Carvalho. We're going to get to know a lot about him over the coming weeks.